I don't know if you've noticed, but Animal Crossing is a special game. I'm talking about the amount of detail and the effort that was put into actually making it. You see, there are these small yet impactful cute moments that always stop me from quitting a game, that of which I've devoted thousands upon thousands of hours into. The sound of footsteps on pavement is very interesting. You know, it's debatable, but to me, I think it's better than any soap-cutting ASMR that you can find. And yes, I am very, very aware of the power that soap-cutting holds, but I mean, this is also very, very good. And then to drive at home, there's also bonus points for walking barefoot in the rain. Linguistically, it does sound very weird, but, but take a listen. When villagers are just vibing there, from doing something like eating soup, of all things. On second thought, I really want more food in Animal Crossing. I get that at the end of the day, I, I would definitely rather take a functioning update than another cosmetic item. But how about making it so our characters can eat? If we can do it with fruits, then why not dishes? I don't care if it gives me some sort of energy boost or not, I just want to be more like my villagers. They're out there, vibing on cloud 9, while I'm out here, foodless, sitting on my Lakitu cloud rug. I'm glad that these decoration items are more than just a placeholder. Cosmetic or not, I don't know a single person who would rather have the flower basket just stay as is than be able to throw petals up in the air. I'm giving this next segment its own paragraph on the script, because it's fully like its working items, but it's also completely different. If you haven't already noticed, right now in the background it's the crackle of fireplace that's being shown. You hear the crisp pop and the warm ambiance it gives off? That's what I love it for. Not to mention, the fire animation is pretty clean too. Oh. And I don't wear kimonos that often, but when I do, it's usually for one sole purpose. And that's what I'm building. Because I like seeing the sleeves roll up. Y you heard me right! Okay, clothing details just hit very different. You know, I hate the actual clothing that are put out from the Able Sisters for how bland they are. But kimonos? Oh, they have a wow factor. They said that Animal Crossing would be fun. They said that Animal Crossing would be relaxing. And boy did they hammer it home with a Nook's closing theme. The music that plays is nostalgic, full of happy tears. And I don't usually stay in the shop when it's closing, but I highly recommend everyone to do it at least once in their life. You know, add it to your bucket list, why not? And then when it comes to hourly themes, I think 7am rises above everything else. It's blissful, it's peaceful, it's relaxing. But at the end of the day, or should I say the beginning of the day, you'd have to, you'd have to be a crazy person to wake up at 7am just to play Animal Crossing. Anyways, did you know that I've played Animal Crossing for thousands upon thousands of hours? Golden hour is the period of daytime, shortly after sunrise and before the sun set, where the light is redder and also softer. It's sometimes called the magic hour by cinematographers. So of course, a virtual island game that just seems so realistic has its own version of this golden hour. If only everyone wasn't asleep and all the shops that weren't closed at 7am, then I would make some sort of hack to keep my island permanently at 7am. I'm not even joking. The lighting is that good. Sakura season is way too short. 10 days for the beauties to shine is nothing. I made my second ever video back in April on my struggle to find the cherry blossom DIYs. Actual video quality aside, I was truly an advocate for longer and better Sakura seasons. Cause pair the soft pink trees with golden hour, and you have a recipe for an aesthetic desktop wallpaper. Here, this can even act as a wallpaper coming straight from the island of banana. Free of charge, might I add. Why actually go outside and visit the beach when you can do it from the comfort of your own house and the switch? 
Stunning graphics? Yes. The sound of waves? Yes. You know, real life in Animal Crossing is just becoming very indistinguishable. J just take a moment to take it all in. The crumbling cliffs of terraforming is very satisfying. Seeing the rocks fall and just the sound of it crashing, very good if I do say so myself. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, because I don't like having to actually terraform because of how terrible the controls and navigations are. But seeing, seeing the terraforming actually happen is a much different feeling. Oh, and how could I forget Harold, my snapping turtle? <laughs>